Hi everyone, it's Kristen again, and today on Simply Sketching, we are going to sketch some pumpkins. Uh, today, we are gonna get messy. We are gonna use some charcoal. If you haven't used charcoal before, prepare to have soap ready and paper towels. Don't touch your face, don't touch your clothes. It's gonna get everywhere, but it's gonna be fun while you do it. Uh, I'm using two different kinds of charcoal. This is called vine charcoal. It's a very light charcoal. Um, if you brush it, most of it will go away and I will be <laughs> brushing it. I'm not gonna use my hands like I would at home. I have paper towels here. I suggest that, but it's not as fun. I usually use my hands when I'm doing it at home. And this is just pressed charcoal. So this one will be darker. Um, when you make a line with this, that line is gonna stay there. It's not, it's not gonna go away unless you erase it. I'm not using special paper. This is just some thick paper I have. Again, the only paper I wouldn't recommend using with charcoal is copy paper. You know, it's, it's just gonna be thin. Sometimes the charcoal, because of the edges on it, it might rip the paper. Um, but other than that, let's get ready. We're gonna do some pumpkins. I'm getting my paper towel already ready. All right, I'm gonna start with my vine charcoal. And this is more of a sketching charcoal. So I like to get my rough sketch out with this and then go back with my pressed charcoal and make it a little darker. So starting pumpkins, we are going to start with an elongated egg shape, um, a little little pointier at the top, a little wider at the bottom. Um, it's gonna go right in the middle, middle, right in the middle of your paper and you can make it fat, thin, um, but but typically the same, the same shape as, as an egg or an elongated egg. That's kind of it. And you can see that charcoal, you can already see it kind of, it smooths out, it makes everything super thick. It is already on my hands. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, next to this beautiful egg shape, we are gonna start a series of curved lines that not only connect at the top, but they connect at the bottom. And that will be our outgoing pumpkin rings, basically. Um, so we're gonna start with one on one side, Start at the top, come down, connect it to the bottom, and I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll show you how they look. So now you've got two connected to your egg in the middle. Before I move on, I'm actually gonna do the stem. Now, what most people forget is that pumpkin is a vine, so they just draw a little flat stem on top, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna bring my stem up and I'm gonna make it curly. So I'm going to bring it up thick at the top or thick at the bottom, excuse me, and then turn it right into a vine at the top. Just like that. You can add some leaves along there if you want to, some pumpkin flowers, if you guys know what pumpkin flowers look like. Um, with the vine charcoal, I did add a couple stripes, but I'll be honest, those are probably going to go away the minute I start shading until I do them again with the pressed charcoal. Now you can stop here if you want. Uh, this is a, a decent sized pumpkin. You know, you can see everything. If you want to make it bigger though, add more sections. So I'm going to add at least one more section on each side. And again, I'm going to start at the top where my other one started and I'm going to end at the bottom. Um, as they go out, you will notice that they are going to get a little thinner. Uh, that's just because of perspective. You can't see everything perfectly when you're looking at a pumpkin straight on. That's a little wonky, but that's okay. But that's basically the segments of a pumpkin. You can go out, you can make a wider pumpkin, you can make a tall skinny pumpkin. Uh, you could even use the same to make uh, like a, the, the ooh, excuse me, the gourd shaped pumpkins. Um, any way you want, they all have segments. Draw the segments. So now that that is done, here comes the fun. I love charcoal. Here comes the fun part. I'm basically gonna erase this whole thing with this paper towel. And what it's gonna do is it is going to shade my pumpkin for me. And then I'll go back with this pressed charcoal and redraw all the lines. So as you can see, pumpkin gone, just my little lines remain, but now it is shaded. If you want, after you're done redrawing the lines, you've got shading started, you can go back in and drop in highlights. Uh, with an eraser, if you have a kneaded eraser, if you guys know what that is, if you don't and you are really interested in art, 
I would look into getting a kneaded eraser because it erases all kinds of things. What I'm doing now is I'm just retracing all the lines I just drew. Now, if you're gonna use charcoal and you don't wanna do this step, you can start right out with the pressed charcoal. That is no problem. I just love the shading that charcoal gives. So I love drawing everything with vine charcoal first and then going back over it and having that shade already started. I mean, it's just beautiful. So there's my trace lines and now I can go back in. I've already got my midtones. I can come back along all these segments and draw a couple of my darker tones. And I'll show you that. Let me get let me get these kind of drawn in. I'll do it on one side so you can see the difference. And I always, I usually use my finger, but we'll use the paper towel. Go back in and you smooth them out. And compared to the other side, now you've got one side that is starting to have some dimension compared to this side that is just flat lines. But with charcoal, you can go in and you can add several layers of dimension. Obviously, we don't have a lot of time for me to go into that now. The last thing I'm going to do is just have this sitting on the ground, which is another great thing about charcoal. You just rub it on there, and now you got a pumpkin sitting on the ground. Draw some vines, draw some more leaves, and you got a little pumpkin patch. Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you another couple examples of some pumpkins. Again, we did these with the charcoal and once you kind of get the charcoal and the gradients, you can go back in and lay in a couple shadows. Um, I did a different size on this side, a different stem. You can play around with these pumpkins and just make a whole pumpkin patch, put some faces on it. They can be jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with these. So enjoy, uh, enjoy all that charcoal you're going to get all over you if you use charcoal. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.